these are ribbons with all of our kids on them. Uh, gold ribbon signifies childhood cancer, but that's just a gold ribbon. We put faces on of our kids because that's really much more meaningful because that's who it's about. Candle lighters is, you know, it's our biggest blessing that has come out of having Delaney be diagnosed with cancer because it is honestly what brings happiness to her, something that she can always look forward to. It's connected me with other moms and dads and, and Delaney with other kids that are just like her, which it, it's, it's everything right now. Oh, it's amazing as a mom. Um, it's an amazing foundation. Um, what Barbara does for our families when we're here, I mean, thousands of miles away from home, is uh, she steps in and is like a family support for all of us. You know, when the kids are in the hospital um, and the moms need a break, dinner, blankets, I mean, whatever it is, she's always providing it. When you're impacted by cancer, it's with you for life, pediatric cancer, and, and Barbara is too. And whether, you know, she's taking you to the princess showroom or just, you know, trying to, even inviting someone over into her home for a glass of wine after a really difficult day, that's what you need sometimes. And it's the little things and the big things, and, you know, she does that and everything in between. So one of our favorite things for the kids to do when they come over is to visit our closet. Why would kids want to visit a closet? Well, because it's a toy store. <laughs> I run candle lighters out of my apartment. It's a little one bedroom in New York City, but it's cozy. We offer the families drinks when they come over. If they drink wine, if they drink beer, they're offered. The kids have their little juice boxes and everything, and they sit and they just are in a home. Candlelighters is a home. I call myself a lay person because I don't have a child with cancer, and I call myself a professional volunteer. I'm with the families 27-7, not even 24-7. I'm available to them at all times, and my family really is the better for it. Um, Barbara spoils us with presents and fun things, and she takes us fun places and makes our lives a little bit better. Um, that she brings me cool places, and she's one of the best people. Because she plans good parties. She plans good parties. Whenever they do something, it, they always make it fun for everyone else. Um, a few days ago, I went to go ride a pony, and I like that. You like going to Barbara's house? Yeah, I have fun here. You like hanging out with the other kids? Yeah and playing and dancing with them. Yeah. I have gone to their um, teen nights at, as well, like going to the movies or just hanging out. Um, hung out with the kids or their families. My favorite event is the Sugar Factory. I like the candy and the costumes. I went to FAO Shorts and Legoland and all different kinds of places. Elsa and Spider-Man showed up and there was face painting and glitter tattoos. The Big Apple Circus. Oh, and going to the Big Apple Circus, we went there. The and Blue Man Group. And the Blue, there's a lot of events. <laughs> the Blue Man Group too. Working on events with Barbara is very exciting. There's always so much going on, and Candle Letters really as a whole tries to make things big and make everyone, help everyone to feel comfortable and have fun. Um, and so we specifically have like special, extra special cakes or extra special people come to be at the parties or versus just like a regular party. We always try to go like, go big or go home. I 
would tell somebody in treatment that I had a tail to make them feel better. I will say, I hope you get better. I would say to another child that has cancer, don't be afraid. I tell them to stay strong, that everything's going to be okay. It sucks right now, but just one day at a time. To be strong and to fight and to never give up. And the most importantly is just, it is hard, but to keep the smile on the face and to fight with it. I met a family 18 years ago. I thought that they had everything they needed when they were having surgery for their child's brain tumor in New York. I thought they had a private therapist that was given to them. I thought they had financial aid. I thought they had their whole family with them. I thought they had everything because how could you have a child with brain tumor and not be given everything? And I found out they had none of that and that they had great needs and they needed family while they were away. They were from Argentina and they were alone. That's it. There was a need and I filled it happily. She just knows and she just gets it. Sometimes she doesn't have to say much, but having someone in front of you that truly understands and that can just hold your hand beyond what your mother can do, it's just, you know, you can't really describe that in words. It's family. It feels really good to be loved, to love the families. The more you love them, the love comes right back. Is it hard? Do I lose children? Yes. Do I get so much satisfaction when a kid writes to me and says, Barbara, I had the best time last night. I went to the circus and I rode a pony and here's a little video. Or one of our little boys had a benefit. At the benefit, he was asked to play his guitar that he just learned. and all of these wonderful things we're able to offer to the families. Families who don't have to take a car because they can fly on a plane for free and save that money. We all need to be together in this world. It's very, very, very enriching. It's, it just feels good. Then I hope I beat it. That it should take a long walk off a short pier. And I would probably kick it. I don't know. You don't know? What do you think about it? Yesterday, remember when you were making a wish, you told me what you made a wish for? Yeah. What was your wish? To heal cancer. To heal cancer? Yeah. No. no. Clear and. Oh, to clear cancer? And. Clear and heal it? Yeah. I think that's a great wish. you and go away. Don't exist. <laughs> I, I think that it would be important for cancer to know that it really messes up people's lives and that it hurts a lot of people. Um, and I wish, I, like so many other people, um, that it would, I wish that it could just go away, but it's, there's just so much more research that needs to be done between now and then, and that's why candle letters is important because it's not going away right now, and that sucks, but people need to be there to support these families when they're going through, um, that battle. There's so much else that goes into a family's daily life when they're dealing with cancer. There's expenses, there's travel expenses, there's, 
You know, you just want to get your kid a toy to put a smile on his face. Supporting an organization like Candlelighters, it's almost like filling the gap. There's organizations out there that do the research and they fund those trials that are so critical to save our kids' lives. You know that what you're giving is really going to enhance a family's life. It makes those elements of necessity available in a way that other organizations just can't do. Candlelighters is on a personal level. If you say, I need a stroller, or I have no clothes because I have been here for a month and it's now winter, I don't have a coat. That's where Candlelighters steps in because you can call Candlelighters and say, this is what I need and they will make it happen. It's not just about the kids either, it's about the families, the moms, the parents, the kids, the siblings. Um, we're able to help everybody and I feel like that's what makes us really special. There's a lot of places that we've supported in the past but you don't necessarily know how, how your money is being used. And here, Barbara, if someone is giving money to Barbara, she says, come to the party, come meet these kids, come see who you're helping. It's the kind of foundation that, um, you know, takes care of the personal experience. Um, you know, the closer level of being able to just enjoy time together and forget about the cancer for a little bit. Candle lighters always make sure that someone is there for you to bring you a blanket, a little care package. They'll sit with you for a little while, and that means a lot. Sometimes she's just a solution for a lot of things. A lot of the things that not medicine can provide or not my own family, she's the in-between which is, in, in our reality, there's a lot of in-betweens. So Barbara would provide not only the material things or the events that we can go to that can distract us or the time. We have about 200 families right now and just because someone might have no evidence of disease or might be cancer-free right now doesn't, doesn't mean that they're, all right, cut off, like, They've done their thing, like once you're a part of candlelighters, you're always gonna be part of candlelighters. And unfortunately, until there is a cure, we will always be growing. And as an organization, if we don't have support, we can't support all of those kids coming to New York for treatment. There's just too much need. And unfortunately, there's too many of us. And there's one Barbara in New York. And every time I see a family that's in need, Sometimes I just want to tell them, you know, here, call Barbara right away. But she needs resources to help her do what she does. And, you know, I, if, if, I had, if I had $2, I'd give it all to Barbara because it's, you can't buy what she provides. People ask me, but you lose kids, Barbara? How can you keep doing this? My pain is one grain of sand in all the beaches in the world and all the grains in all the beaches in the world is the pain that a parent feels when they lose a child. So I'll keep feeling that pain and I'll keep being with them and bringing happiness to the families. And you should too. We're asking for financial donations to keep family support going. Right now we're taking care of 200 families in New York City. And these families are from all over the world. So even though you don't live in New York City, it's called Candlelightus New York City, most of the people we take care of are not from New York either. They're people from all over the United States and all over the world coming here for the best treatment for their families. To do that, to help them, we need financial support. And the reason why we ask for financial support instead of sending things is because living in New York City, storage is extremely expensive and just not available. So we really are asking you just to make a donation to candlelightersnyc.org forward slash donate. Gift cards are wonderful for the families, that we can use, but we can't use big items. That's the problem, we, and everything always has to be new for the families. It's better if we purchase it. We really do need funding.